Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Brandy. Welcome to the latest edition of Control M's Crowdsource Corner, where we answer your questions about Control M. Recently, we received a question asking, why should I use Control M to orchestrate my data analytics pipeline? Matt, do you want to go ahead and answer that question? Sure. So when you think about all the different technologies that go into a data pipeline, and you've got all of your different systems of origin, all of your different systems of transit and record and you know, storage, all of your different analytics tools, all of your different transformation tools. What a lot of times happens is it becomes a house of cards, right? You have lots and lots and lots of different pieces that all know how to do their section of the pipeline, right? Your ETL tool knows exactly how to transform something and where to load it. And then you have to somehow signal from ETL to your analytics and then from your analytics to your reporting and visualization and so on down the pipeline. So the problem with that is when it comes time to making changes or updates or once these pipelines and analytics uh, and applications get into production and now you're responsible for making sure they run on time all the time because what you end up with is lots of either scripts or points, uh, some people call them islands of automation. You know, you'll have one tool for orchestrating what happens inside of your Hadoop cluster, one tool for before the Hadoop cluster, one tool for after the Hadoop cluster, one tool for once it's on S3, et cetera, et cetera. Whereas with Control-M, you have one tool, one single platform across that entire pipeline. And again, what that allows us to do is number one, make it very easy to make changes and updates because your entire pipeline is represented as a flat JSON file. But then number two, all of the proactive analytics, all of the self-healing, all of the SLA management, all of the orchestration and audit and reporting gets baked in automatically. So your production, uh, you know, all those different production requirements around compliance and governance just become uh, an afterthought. That was a great answer, Matt. Thanks for joining for this edition of Control M's Crowdsource Corner, or we like to call it Triple C. <laughs> if you have any questions that you would like answered, please feel free to send us an email. And as always, if you'd like a deep dive into how Control M works, check out our Connect with Control M series on YouTube or visit the URL probably right here. Thank Thanks. You.